Yeah, the flight, of course, was a long flight. If anybody's gone to Africa, they know how long it takes, it's just forever. Uh, but uh, when we got there, things really went smoothly. Uh, just no problem at all. We were met with the guide, Gary, and he took us right through and uh, to his vehicle with the trailer. We loaded our stuff up and we were on the road. Did some shooting and Everything seemed to be cool. All the barbozo were okay. First thing in the morning, uh, walk over to the counter. Uh, there was a kitchen behind there with no no windows, no nothing closing off the, the outside from the inside, and they had a great big coffee pot and have coffee. And next thing you know, the guide, guides came along and we all jumped in our in their trucks and we were off. This hunt, we were hunting blue wildebeest. And again, we were hunting out of blinds over a water trough and feed. And uh, we we really didn't know which, the area is huge. You know, when you think of, of uh, hunting, uh, you know, these game ranches or game farms, you think of it being small, but, you know, I think it was, 30 or 40 square kilometers that uh, it encompassed. And uh, as we were driving along, we spotted uh, a bunch, a herd of blue uh, wildebeest on their way to one of these locations. So we hurried along the trail and we got to the blind and, and we set up for them and hoping they would come into that spot. They came in and they kind of shuffled around as to who was going to get to the water first sort of thing. And, the, and then the bigger one kind of moved in and moved the other ones out of the way. And that was kind of cool because it was easy enough to show, to see which one was the bigger one of the animals. Well, after I shot mine, and we saw exactly where it fell, uh, we could see it from the blind, uh, the animals took off, and Gary, the guide, said, uh, well, just hold tough here, he said, because uh, the herd might come back, or a different herd might come in. Well, the animals came in, and uh, the really, actually, Mike shot the biggest one of uh, all three that we had taken, uh, of, of the blue wildebeest. It came in and there was, a, there was a couple of those stupid water bucks on the right hand side of him, but uh, nothing behind him, so he took the shot and it was a good, good mortal shot. But he didn't die immediately, he just kind of sank down. And uh, so Mike took and, uh, a second arrow and killed him.
Mike's animal is much, much prettier than mine. Mine's kind of a solid, kind of grayish, brown, blue color. But Mike's had stripes on it. It's just fantastic. To load that animal, I couldn't believe Gary took his truck and it was pure sand there and he held the brakes and he gunned it and he buried himself into the sand and then hooked up a winch and pulled the, the animal right into the back of his truck, closed the end gate and then got in and just walked right out of the hole. He just, I, I've never seen a vehicle or tires do that. I have my old Chevy stuck like that, it'd be there forever. They don't clean them in the field, they load them up and take them to uh, an abattoir right at the camp. When you bring your animal in there and they, they unload it and hang it up, they get you to fill, well, they fill out a piece of paper and you have to sign it, you uh, know, and it indicates the kind of animal you have, what kind of uh, skinning you want done on it, whether you want a shoulder mount or whether you want a, uh, you know, the whole hide tan you know, a full body mount, uh, they take all that information down. I guess that's to prevent people from saying later, oh, my hide disappeared or the skull disappeared or whatever. Just for people that don't know, how long does it take to get your all your stuff back into Canada? How long does that take? What's the whole process? Oh, that, if you think you're going to get it quickly, uh, don't, don't think that way because it's not going to happen. Because of the fact it's, um, you know, all the disease controls are in place and insects and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it takes up to a year for your animals to finally arrive.